Hello to you from the Amex Stadium in Sussex by the Sea. My name's Guy Mowbray, delighted to be joined by Sue Smith for commentary. And it's all about the Premier League here. It's Brighton and Hove Albion facing Aston Villa. Well, thanks, Guy. I can't wait for this one today. The atmosphere is buzzing and I'm hoping the football lives up to it. Well, he's a player that many have been talking about. Will we be talking about him for the right reasons today, though? Well, he's got so much to his game, but the strength that stands out to me is his ability to whip a ball in from out wide. The pace and the accuracy that he gets, it's a nightmare for defenders. But forwards, they'll thrive on it. Have a great game. Thanks. Again. Thanks. Cheers. Good luck. Hey. Good luck. Cheers. Good game out there. Good luck. Cheers. Hey. Thanks. Hi. Good game. Good game. Here's how Brighton and Hove Albion line up. It's a 4-5-1, or you could say a 4-2-3-1. This does offer plenty of threat going forward with the three behind the central striker. We may see the wide midfielders cut in and the fullbacks push on while the defence is still protected from the two holding. Here's today's Aston Villa team. Yeah, it looks like a 4-4-2 and I always think that this system offers a strong defensive presence all over the pitch. And in attack, you always have numbers getting forward. They've got quality out wide, so I'm sure the flanks are going to be used today. The first kick of the ball, and we're away. Oh, great work. What's next? Good patient build-up, but not quite the end product. Tielemans. Beaten easily here. Put into the middle. No problem at all in keeping that one out. Tielemans. Bailey. Watkins. Goes on past the defender. Can he finish? And good work from the keeper to get across and deal with the danger. And here it comes. Oh, it's a really good header, but it's met by a more than decent save. Showing good width with this attack. Has to be, and still danger here. And the attack comes to an end, disappointing. A good advantage played by the ref. Oh, that's not a good challenge at all. Card coming here, surely. And he does produce the yellow. Oh, without question. It wasn't the best of challenges, was it? <laughs> Douglas Louise. Could be something happening for them now. A chance to cross here. Kept out, but for how long? And the keeper able to hold on to it at the second attempt. Well, you can sense the relief. It's a fantastic initial save, though. Danny Welbeck. Gross. Tielemans. 
Oh, that was a decent position, but he went to whack it. Wrong choice. Estupinha. Mitoma. Oh, that's blatant. The foul committed to stop the attack. And the referee shows the yellow card. Well, it's a bit of a naughty challenge. Had to go in the book. Delivered towards the far post. Well, in the end, it proved to be right in the keeper's zone. He's beaten his marker here. Tielemans. Well, I'm sure he thought he'd scored there. Great goalkeeping. It's put into the middle. Douglas Luiz. Now, can this be attacked? And it's a pretty good save by the keeper. And that will do it for the first half here in Brighton. Well, he's struggled to get involved as much as he'd like so far. What are your thoughts, Sue? There's definitely more to come from him. He's just been a bit quiet and at times he's made decent runs, but his teammates just haven't found him. I'm sure if he gets a chance in the second half, he'll take it. Off we go. The match is underway. Goes on past the defender. Can he finish? And good work from the keeper to get across and deal with the danger. And the attack comes to an end, disappointing. And the referee shows the yellow card. Well, it's a bit of a naughty... Well, I'm sure he thought he'd scored there. Great goalkeeping. So away we go then for the second half. And a challenge there that will surely result in a card. And he has been booked, yellow card. Well, he's going to have to be careful now. Can't make any rash challenges or he'll be off.
and it's opened up for him and it's saved that's a really tidy piece of goalkeeping Over it comes. And the play breaks down. Pulls it back. Just needs the composure now. The defence does its work. Like Drifting into a useful position here. Happy birthday, Tony. Loves you. The defence has done its job to stop any trouble brewing. Welbeck. Pascal Gross. Chance to go ahead. Must finish. Well, still nothing to split the two sides. Maybe that will change with this corner. Well, there's not been much to cheer about for a while, but they're certainly getting behind them here. They sense that a goal's coming. It's played in now. It's only halfway clear. They have to clear this. It's in. Deadlock broken. And just how crucial could that prove to be? Well, you can watch it again here, and you can see why the manager is furious. They give away possession far too easy in a dangerous area, and that's what happens. You'll get punished. The game needed a goal. That's what we've got. But what sort of response will we see now? No stopping him yet. And a cross that could be dangerous. Well, that's as easy as it gets for a goalkeeper. Some good work to win it there. Well, the home side are very much dictating the tempo over the past 15 minutes or so. They've created a lot of chances too, and you just think if they can make one of them count, there's no way back for the opposition with it being so late on. Has the space to whip it in here. We read that well, stopping any danger. Ponsa. Oh, excellent vision. And it's offside. He's just got caught on the wrong side. He has. He just needs to bend his run. You've got to give the player on the ball time to control it and get his head up. Lovely ball. Now, what can they do with it? Moving forward under no real pressure. Great defending. And the ball has been lost. Block after block. The ball is lost and the chance has gone too. There is the final whistle. Plenty of positives for them to take away. Not least the three points, Sue. Yeah, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. It was a real competitive game. There were chances at both ends. And they probably just about edged it overall, though. Deserved the result, in my opinion. Well, he didn't really look at his very best today, Sue. What did you make of his performance overall? 
Yeah, and he seemed to struggle to get to grips with the game. Sometimes you just chalk it up as one of those days. It was a good team performance, though, despite that. I'm sure he thought he'd scored there. Great goalkeeping. And he has been booked. Yellow card. Well, he's going to have to be careful now. Can't make any rash challenges or he'll be off. And it's opened up for him. And it's saved. That's a really tidy piece of goalkeeping. There's still nothing to split the two sides. Maybe that will change with the... It's played in now. 